Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Stasis. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today here with this malicious creature, at least apparently the eyes glare with malice anyway. Uh, last episode we, we were, well basically, we're still in medical, and uh, we were getting to know how terrible things have gotten in here. We were reading a Mailand's PDA over here, uh, and uh, it looks, the game is getting, you know, it's getting that feeling, it's giving me that feeling that it's closing in on the ending, so I'm not really sure how that's gonna go, but uh, let's read that PDA over there, and I wonder if that's gonna be like the Santos, maybe? I don't know, let's check out, check that out, because, no, it's Lincoln. Huh, yeah, we, we've heard of this guy, let's see. I've been reassigned uh, to investigate the disappearance and murder of two scientists in the employ of Dr. Malin. A strange matter to be sure, I've been observing the movements of some of the, these eggheads. I can't say I'm too impressed. Doesn't anybody around here record their comings and goings? Or make any notes? There is no traditional organization in this department whatsoever. Project Seed answers to nobody, this I know, but I thought those scientific types always make n made notes. Not that I care about admin, but I am... Um, very much care about finding out who's selling weapon grade secrets. This rule secrets are a matter of life and death, especially death in this case. My investigation will be thorough and no stone will be left unturned. The staff here are strange and in fact I'd say lots of them are even crazy, but I couldn't care less about that. I just want names and answers. Yeah, I think I think I agree with his initial assessment about this situation over here. Let's just go next. Uh, August 8th. I just got this job because I get things done, not because of my warm and caring personality. At the moment, people are taking umbrage to my investigation, but security is a constant and essential part of the shipboard life, especially when we are taking or talking about industrial espionage. I'm not sure where the two missing scientists are, but it seems, based on the modified re records I've found, that they were killed and ejected into space. Any other man who would assume that these two were the criminals that these two were the criminals, but I don't buy that. As far as uh, suspects go, I've ruled out Charlotte Williams and Marvin DeSantos. Charlotte because he d she doesn't know where she is half the time, and DeSantos because he's just a smirking shit for brains. I'm, um, I'm confident that he's involved in drug dealing, and I uh, will give him this. He's cautious and acts like he's a real ladies' man, but I know the truth. I've seen him rejected repeatedly at the bar. Okay. Um, since July, I've had to operate under the pretense that I'm an assistant. I am lucky that in my career I had some emergency room experience. The only other person who knows about my true purpose here is Dr. Malin. Oh yeah, you're kind of screwed at your... Well, investigation then. He's been encouraging. He constantly supplies me with information that I require for my investigation, and at times it is a little over-helpful, or he's a little over-helpful. Uh, still, he seems honest enough. For the record, I'm well aware that the kind of Dr. Malin, uh, I'm well aware of the kind of man Dr. Malin is. I've seen him, his experiments with my own eyes. I've uh, seen what happens when the bodies are disposed of and the burning fires of the furnace, but he does what's required to, justif to justify the means. He does what's required to justify the means. I'm not sure that's a thing. <laughs> mm, anyway, there are few men in this world who will do what he has to, uh, what has to be done. For that, I admire him. Uh, he told me to watch over Dr. Williams' experiments. It seems they're unofficial, and although I prepared a report to Kane to have her removed from her position, Dr. Mellon immediately overrode my request. Yeah, because, yeah. Uh, I respect him, but to be honest, I don't like having my authority overruled. On November, that that was, that was November. Oh, that was September. Now in November, Backman, of all people, was sniffing around today. It seems the old psychopath suddenly became curious. I asked Dr. Malin for further instructions, and he told me to incapacitate the old man. This I did. A shame I had to break the old guy's kneecaps. Honestly, yeah, you're not a cop or anything. You're just. I don't even know what you're doing in here. Honestly, I was hoping to slit his throat, but Dr. Malin insisted that he remains alive. This comes as no surprise, really, the wolf slitting th of the throat. Um, alive and in pain, but unable to move. I'm revisiting my earlier opinion of the Santos character. I think I still think he's a pathetic little shit, but I know I now believe he was partly responsible for some of the stolen information. He strikes me as an amateur... Oh, he's put here by the company. So that's no wonder why he's a jerk. Okay. 
And this guy is investigating on the company's behalf, not really on the people's behalf or the cities or anything. It's just the company. It makes total sense as well because you wouldn't, you probably wouldn't have cops in here. Uh, he strikes me as an amateur put up to this by an outside agent. I'll deal with the Santa soon, but first I've got to monitor his movements. Make one move, pal, and I'll have you. You have noticed that we haven't read a single thing from Tia. Uh, yeah. Interesting. Dr. Malin has earned or earmarked me for one of his experiments. I know this because when I attempted to leave the ship to report to Kane Corp, I discovered that my access... Okay, I'm thinking this guy might be the guy on the table. Uh, I discovered that my access was restricted and block it, blocked. I came back to my quarters and found Malin waiting, me, uh, waiting here. He was waiting with two of those hellish creatures that has created. I'm not squeamish, but those things make me nauseous. I am currently awaiting where what he calls processing. Uh, I suppose, oh yeah, yeah you are. I suppose at this stage I should make peace with God. I've killed many men in my life. This guy's weird. Uh, and I'll, I'll never say that I feel remorse for it. And I won't give Dr. Millen the satisfaction of hearing me pray for mercy. My last notes on this affair are that Dr. Millen himself is at the heart of the events on board of the ship. I was blind to it. Yes, you were. Uh, I refused to believe that he was capable of creating such devastation. I always thought that scientists like control, but Malin breaks all the rules as far as science is concerned. The leaked information, the fungal growth, the missing scientists... I am uh, beginning to suspect he even knew that the Santos was actually selling information and may have fed him the information to sell. To what end, I don't know. I suspect it was because the Santos kept Beckman drugged to the eyeballs with whatever powerful stimulants he happened to have, so Beckman could continue his work. I can hear the machines being turned. I welcome my fate. At least I know that I did a job for King Corporation. Yeah, I, I figured. Okay, well, he's a jerk. Let me actually read the last entry over here because it is about the Santos. And uh, the Santos, I'm so very disappointed. This is from Malin. A distress signal? Yeah, that's right. The Santos, he was... Yeah, he... Mm. I thought we were on this, on one mind here in Seed. I'll crash, castrate and destroy you for this betrayal. Your flawed body is hardly worthy of becoming one of my children. Yeah, because they had made a pact before. They were... Yeah, they were together, but that guy apparently got rewards. We, we, I think we read the Santos uh, uh, PDA before. Okay, so what can we do? We have a pistol, and I'm sure this is gonna be the end game or something. Uh, high temperature slug gun. I can't apply this to this guy. No, crazy. What about the twisted metal? Nah, maybe. Didn't say anything. I don't think this will oh. fit. Okay, what about the personal data tag? I don't think this will fit. Okay, you can't do anything with that. Do we have any a surgical laser? A newly, uh, a new remotely operated surgical model, and utterly lethal in the wrong hands. It could split steel just as it. Oh yeah, I read that, that before. About the whole steel splitting thing. Okay, so this is just information, I'm thinking, although, I, hmm, let's go back. Okay, so this is the, uh, there's a terminal over here, and these are the subjects that we've read about before already. I'm not really sure what to do. I, just, I'm not really sure, I have no idea. So this is just exposition. There's nothing for me to do over here. I'm just looking for my daughter, or John's daughter anyway. Um, and yeah, we got the that thing down there. So I need to open this. I'm thinking I'm gonna die if I hope if I go through there. Oh, I can't go through there. Okay. Um, so let's go climb down. Right through there. Okay. And uh, then let's sink. Hmm. Hmm. Well, the computer is gone. So let's go back here. And now what do I have new? I just have the same exact things I had before. So it's not like I can do much. And there's that computer over there that doesn't have anything for me, I don't think. Just, uh, more data. Uh, yeah, just data. Okay. Fine by me. I mean, I can't do anything to the... Don't worry. I'm here. Hey, couldn't you... Oh, I know. I'm gonna help you. Hopefully. Soon you'll be out of here. This is just a bad trick. You said that before. Or did I die and not do this again? Nope. Okay, so we have mist over here. Yeah, these things have gotta be the way. These things... They have to be... It doesn't work like that. Yeah, but what does it work like? No. No, that won't work. Okay, well, I don't know. Let's get out of here. Let's go to the other part. Okay. 
Yeah, I can't help but feel that the power cells. Oh yeah, this this this. You can hear that. Yeah, that's terrible. I apologize. Um, I can't help but feel that this these power cells are the key. But I can't do anything with them. I just they just for me to look at them, right? We got an Omega. Okay, so that's we could learn that from that. I think. Let's get away from here. So we got an Omega over there, and. Uh, that could be the key. If they're all Omegas, though, they might be. I think I actually... Yeah, they are. Okay. So, yeah, it's locked. But how do I do... How do I get an Omega-shaped thing? That's probably what I need. So, I'm thinking the key is in there. Uh, and the reason why it is is because usually the game forces me to move forward. And when I get stuck, the answer is usually not too far past. So, we wouldn't be on those things... Uh, so I'm thinking I need an Omega-shaped thing somewhere in here, but maybe that's not the case. Can I apply these things to these guys and just kill them or something? No. It's crazy. crazy. Yeah. Okay, so I don't really know. I can try to make it fit, but it may break. Can you tell me what this is? The twisted metal? Okay, it's gotta be here. This gotta be the key. Strap down creature. So it's evil. I'm thinking maybe it's gotta be Robert or something. Uh, and I can't go up there because there's no access up there. So... What am I missing? Surgical laser right there. Nah, that doesn't do anything. Can't really do anything with him. Seriously, you could sh smash mm. him. No. Maybe. Nah. <laughs> no. Yeah, I don't know. Let me look for it. Yep. Okay, I was missing. What I don't, uh, What was it? I don't even... That is bone mending... Bone mending glue. It doesn't work like that. I know it doesn't work like that. Why would it... I knew I was missing something over here. I, I saw the bone... I saw that. Um, but what I saw is my mouse. It changed when I uh, crossed over it. So maybe I need to use it on this... No, but it doesn't... I don't think... Yeah, this is bone mending glue. This is... Uh, this is, what can I do with this? Hmm. There's no operation table going on right now, so unless it's over here, I doubt it. What would I do with this? I think that'll just break it. Huh. Wait a minute. Maybe I can use it over here, out there, to try and open this or something. Let's see. Or some, I don't know any other. I don't think this will fit. Let's try it use on these. No, they, it doesn't work. No, that's ridiculous. Is it ridiculous? Yeah, it, it, it is a little bit. I don't think that'll work. Okay, let's go downstairs. Maybe, oh, maybe it's the robot. Although I don't see the point of that, but... I mean, why would I? <laughs> why would I do that? No. Crazy. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? It is crazy. Okay, let's try the sink. So you're doing that. Yeah. Okay. Make sure. Maybe if it. No. No. No, that won't. No, that won't work. Maybe the ladies. Okay. I, I, it doesn't make sense though. Why would I want? These don't go well together. Excuse the hiccup. Why? Yeah. Why? Why? Oh, it's the power cells. Oh, it is the power cells. But why? Are they not well properly fit? A, a housing. We got a uh, power cell housing lock imprint. So what can you do? Nah, that's ridiculous. Is it? So what do I do with that? Power cell housing lock imprint. Power cell housing. That's what that is. And it's an imprint of the lock. So I need like a 3D printer or something. But how do I do that? I haven't seen anything like it. So maybe, maybe I need to use that thing, maybe it's over here, or something, I, something happened there, oh, it's, hmm, oh yeah, that, that beautiful, beautiful 
sound. It's, I know. Okay, so maybe I can use this over there. It doesn't work like that. Yeah, but how does it work like? We got a hospital screens down here, preserve cryogenics. So what I need is... Is that I need... Do I need to make a lock or something? Or to make a key for that? It sounds reasonable. But I didn't see anything on the other room, so... The laser cutting thing. Could it be? It could be that. We have a power pad over here. Oh, maybe that's it. Hmm. No. Maybe. Something happened when I touched it. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Okay, so... Closed power cell housing. Oh, oh, that's that. No, it's not that. It's like the other ones. This isn't gonna work. It is. Yeah. I have no idea. Unless I'm missing, again, something else, which wouldn't surprise me, so let me scour the, uh, the environment. I can't find anything. I have no idea where I need to look. I've been looking for so long. For so long. There's nothing. Wait a minute. I didn't try this. Now that it's... Just break it. Huh. There it is. Damn me. <sighs> Power cell housing key. It's a key. It's a key. Now we can open this. Oh, kill the women. Oh. Yeah, that's... This is... Yeah. I assume. Anyway. Prepare for a lot of noise. Yes. I know. Okay, so it's not a very heavy uh, thing to do right now because... Um, because I, I see I see what the game wants us to do. We need to get the power cells to power the first the, the, the first room. Okay. So they're gonna die now. I mean they, I have no way, other way of saving them. This is here suffering. This is very much murder. Maybe euthanasia? They're not really sick. I mean that one is. But I don't know. I have I in space nobody can hear you scream. Those things are still alive, though, which is interesting, but they're not. Well, they did, I mean, this this place is going to shit anyway, so they would die eventually. Yeah. Yeah. Considering that I pulled the plug, I will call that euthanasia. Okay, and we have a pulsating mass of flesh and bone that is probably going to die, yeah, and hopefully that terrible noise of Oh! We have a power cell now. Okay, let's apply this. Let's see what kind of warning we get. Is there another one? There's gotta be another another power cell. Maybe in the other room? This room upstairs, I mean. I just forgot about it. This place looks so cool. No warning. Okay, remove the beep. Okay, we have two of them. Shut up, don't fart. I'll see you later. Yeah, you are uh I have no idea who he is. No, actually, it's a it's a human host, human host. So it's probably a pregnant lady as well. Except things didn't go according to plan. Okay, so these things, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be able to open that as well, right? Yeah. Is that a good idea? I don't have room for this. Well, 
how do oh i do you can have more than those items okay so areas adjacent to this uh have gone down in power not not really up there is still the same so okay let's go over there make sure it's the same it's basically the same doesn't matter yeah this door makes a noise it's weird it's weird that it does it from the outside as well. Okay, so we got the power cells. I'm not really sure what that is for. This is a power pad. It's different. So let's go upstairs. Please don't shake the screen as much. Please, thank you. And uh, let's see if there's any... Yeah, there's these guys. So... Hmm. There's no power thing over here, is there? At least not that I can see. I thought there were. There was one. Wasn't there? Huh. Maybe not. I... Well... Hmm, yeah, okay, so these things... Oh! Oh, I didn't see that! W was it there before? I mean, it's gotta have... I thought it was... Uh, I thought I, I just removed that because of why not. But I thought we were gonna need to put these where I removed uh, the last one. Because there were three and, you know... Okay, so apparently... Can you not see that? The mechanical utility housing awaits a replacement power cell. Oh, maybe I did. I actually remember that. So I just forgot about it. It's not gonna go well. This is the sort of Frankenstein operations that really we really shouldn't be meddling with. This is not okay. You have no idea what kind of monster you're gonna create. I've no I I'm not I I'm not even sure what I'm doing, let alone what it's gonna happen. Well, the green bar is full. And isn't that everybody's intent in life? Oh. And now I operate the surgical laser. Well, Mr. Malicious Creature, I think you're gonna die. Maybe. Oh, we cut it up. Cut, cut it in half. The smell of freshly spilled blood and guts fills the air. The creature has been cut raggedly in half. Well, it's a surgical laser that can cut steel, but it's apparently cutting ra people, creatures regularly. But why? Oh, eviscerated creature. Okay, wh why would I want that? Maybe I need this applied there? Mm, probably not a good idea. Is it the sort of, uh, like, the thing we'd had before? I can't see it working like that. But why would I want to kill this guy? That doesn't seem right. Oh, I'm destroying the research. Could this guy be Dr. Mellon? That's our way out. That is our way out. Can't even click there anymore. I can't take these, though. Can I? No, apparently not. Well, if, what if I apply this? No. No. Crazy. Yep. Yeah, I don't know who that was, but... Uh, we know he was evil, because the eyes, apparently. He knows. Warning. The environmental control and life support system has been compromised. I know. Please report to the visitor center for further instructions. We're all gonna starve of oxygen. I know. So what, where are we? Well, this doesn't look too special or dangerous. Apparently we can go in through there. And uh, down here there's nothing. There's a passage over there, and uh, there's also stuff up here. No, it's just a glass over there. Okay. Moving on. Abnormal neural activity detected. Sinister signs displayed along the walls. Animal testing gas mask zone. Well, it's locked, so I don't really need to go there. But let me check that out personally. And over there it says... Toxic... Oh, you're looking. Yeah, these are the cook chambers. He didn't like that, even though he, he knew full well. He to know about this. Well, if you had brought the PDAs that you've been finding so far, hopefully you're making a backup or something. Yeah, they're all dead. Dead bodies. A mass of creatures, human and hybrid, huddled together in their final goodbyes. Some fought for a way out or held others near as the gas pulled in. 
These creatures, frozen in fear as, gra as gas crept insidiously through the vents, now lie still, twisted in agony. This is not science, but murder, says the lump. Yep. The lights illuminate desiccated bodies or corpses and agony clenched fists into sharp, arc-lit re relief. This chamber was constructed with the express purpose of filling it with a contamin contaminable, noxious gas. Yeah, I'm thinking we really don't need to go in there. What do they call this? Animal what? It said animal area or something. The walls have been scoured with scratches. Broken fingernails are evidence of a desperate escape attempt. Yeah, you can see them over there. You can actually see them in uh, these in the um, in the German uh, camps in the in the in the gas chambers. Uh, well, I've never been, but uh, yeah, they're apparently there's probably photographs that I've never looked online, but yeah, you can see that as well. It was of course very reminiscent of that, but uh, of course in a completely different setting. I'm not sure which is worse. Well, probably the, the Holocaust, Holocaust was worse. I doubt that these guys cooked six, six million people in here. That for just two science, scientists, that's probably a little bit too little, uh, too much. I, I would say in terms of uh, <coughs> research, because they are, these guys are test subjects. Yeah, it says over there animal testing. Yeah, these guys are test subjects. So just it's, it's they while there's a lot of them. Yeah, it's different things. Sinister signs displayed along the walls again. So it's, but this one is not. Oh, it says over there, another one over there. It's got like a cow thing. Uh, is this? These creatures stare vacantly into the dark, a victim of its own existence, a dead hybrid in a cage. This is a contain containment area, maybe. More corpses for the incinerator. The creatures reek. The creature reeks as if it has been dead for some time. Oh yeah, I think I think so. Of course, these are not the only ones that are dead, but they are. They'll be pissed if they know. If they have, if they have their own sentience, they're gonna be really pissed. I mean, I would. Be, I'm pissed as well, but for for them, it's kind of personal. It is. Uh, well, it's really personal, especially if they are just people transformed, which I don't really think that's the case. They are just hosts to the mutants. Hmm. It's propped up against the bars of its tiny prison, surrounded by similarly small cages. Does heaven have a place for a creature that was created in hell? Well, aren't we all? Anyway... Oh, this... I thought... No. Restaurants on levels two and three are now closed. Oh, yeah, I didn't want to eat right now, really, to be honest. A prison for these poor beings, but more like a disposal area. A distended limb drops quickly to the ground. It may look dead, but the drained thing can still move a little. Oh, it's alive! Is it? The stench is thoroughly vile, a rotten mist mash, uh, mis mishmash of smells that range from putrescent to death. The creatures contained here are mal malnourished, desic desiccated husks. Yeah. This one, even though it says dead hybrid in cage, I think is still alive. But, um... Uh, we're out of time for the day, so we're going to look into it next episode. For now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Stasis. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, and you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later, be sure to leave a like down below to let me know. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.